We start tonight with that alert, an outbreak in Ohio. Since the beginning of the year, Summit County has seen an alarming increase in the number of hepatitis A cases, but it is not just a problem there. News 5's Tracy Carlos in the newsroom right now with what has health experts so concerned tonight. Tracy. Rob, Danita, this is not just Summit County. Counties across the state are seeing cases of the virus skyrocket. State and local health officials are investigating an increased number of hepatitis A cases in Ohio. It usually um, gets into the body through, we call it fecal oral route. Um, in a, if you eat contaminated food or drink contaminated water, that's how the virus gets into the body. In Cuyahoga County in 2017, there were four confirmed cases. In all of 2018, combined with so far this year, there have been 31. In Summit County, that number stands at 35 compared to their yearly average of just seven. But in other counties, the cases number in the hundreds. Franklin County has the highest in the state at 326. That's what concerns us. Drew Heffron with the Cuyahoga County Board of Health told me the hepatitis A outbreak is something health experts have been watching and preparing for since last year. The Ohio Department of Health started regular conference calls uh, last year that have, were very helpful at just getting ideas in uh, information sharing between all local health departments in the state. At the Cleveland Clinic, they are seeing this dangerous trend as well. We have seen very severe cases of hepatitis A. We do not know the reason because there is a vaccination and people are educated enough to get vaccination. But yes, we have seen the trend over last year. Health officials warn people at increased risk for hepatitis A in this outbreak include people with direct contact with individuals with the virus, homosexual men, those using street drugs, whether they are injected or not, people who are in jail, the homeless, and those traveling to other parts of the country which are currently experiencing outbreaks. <laughs> Health officials say washing hands and a vaccination are key to keeping the virus at bay. But at this point, Heffron told me there is no need to panic. The outbreak is contained to these at-risk populations and we're aggressively trying to vaccinate them and prevent the spread. The Ohio Department of Health is also watching our neighboring states of Indiana, Kentucky, Michigan and West Virginia because outbreaks are happening there as well. In the newsroom, Tracy Carlos, News 5.